Previously on Face Off. We call it suffering a bit because I came down with a really bad cold after Indonesia. The last time I checked with the team, they said it's just the formatting. Our presentation wasn't clear. What we wanted to explain didn't come across. That was a big problem for us. How can I make all those changes in just one night? All of you have a chance to become CEO. Spend time on being the best. If you don't have the motivation, you will not win. The harder the battle, the greater the leader. It takes guts to take responsibility. You just go to the one downstairs here, you start to talk. Oh no! Four teams, two years, one final challenge. This is Face Off Season 2. For two years, 80 young professionals have participated in the Young CEO Development Program in hopes of becoming future CEOs. After taking on eight grueling boot camps and numerous challenges that push their creativity, communication, and critical thinking skills, they now face their final regional business challenge. Split into four teams, they must develop and present a business plan that supports Boost Indonesia's mission to increase financial inclusion in the country. The final presentation will have 35% score. This is the last day of the nine-week challenge when they now have to present their solution to the top CEOs of the organizations, including the CEO of Boost Indonesia and this group CEO for Boost in Malaysia. All of their hard work leads up to this very moment, the final presentation. We are very excited, not only for the graduation ceremony, but also to present the idea. At the same time, we are all very nervous. Myself and Nadia, we are, we are practicing in our minds non-stop. Uh, it's only going to be one more hour from now, and uh, we are looking forward to it. We only get our slides done at 4 a.m. Personally, as a leader, I don't want to stress everyone out. And all of us also think it makes sense to have one presenter so that we don't have to waste time to actually switch. The rest of our team members were really super helpful because they really gave us pointers on certain elements that were important and what was crucial to the presentation and what else we could cut out so that we could really deliver the most succinct, most impactful presentation. No matter what, we've done our best. This is all that we could have done. We were happy because we did it together and we did the best that we can. The final presentation begins. Introducing a panel of judges. Muhammad Khairul Abdullah, Chief Executive Officer of Asiata Digital. Joseph Eddie Hart Lumban Gaul, Chief Executive Officer of Asiata Digital Services, Indonesia. Wan Zainal Adilin, Chief Regional Officer, ASEAN South E.co Group. David Morrow, Chief Digital Officer of Cellcom. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the YCGP Regional Business Challenge and Graduation Ceremony. Introducing our first company to present the Regional Business Challenge presentation. Make some noise for the Blazers! Woo! For me, being the first team to present, it was amazing. I, I really like being the first to present because that way you don't get clouded by anything else that anyone has said. Because when someone else says something, then you have to incorporate it into your presentation. Of these countries, we found that Philippines is the best route of entry due to its many similarities with Indonesia. We propose that we can then convert the underserved merchants in the Philippines to become a truly cash-light society. The presentation was quite smooth and solid, and the Q&A, we didn't think that there were any sort of doubts left hanging. So you're saying Philippines is a great opportunity. How do you actually see Boost actually entering that market? We did a puzzle analysis, which is politically or economically or even environmental way of doing it. We realized that the government in the Philippines is opening up more towards e-wallet because there's only two major players right now, which is GCAS and Paymaya. So in the way that there's no B2B clear winner, B2B players right now in the Philippines, 
I think the final presentation was, uh, was done pretty well. We were all very happy with the final outcome. Our two star players, my two boys, Mark and Iman, they really put on a, a very fantastic show. They were known as well in the whole entire cohort. They were among the best orators we had for that cohort. Taking our learnings into consideration, we envision a better future for Pelator. It will be a leading, ethical, Sharia-compliant microfinancing solution, ladies and gentlemen. On this Sharia compliant, this is well done. Great, great idea. But how, how do you plan to uh, educate people that it is really Sharia compliant? Because this is a very sensitive issue. The key part of education is also the boostpreneurs. The boostpreneurs are quite unique in the sense that no other players in Indonesia have this network of people. So they will need to be more training involved in terms of how to uh, properly brief the market on the Sharia compliance and financial literacy. I was actually quite satisfied with the entire final presentation and I believe that judges are pretty pleased about this. The new tool, which is the Game Quest, we realized that there's 61% of the audience visited our booth is just for the Game Quest. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a very positive response from our experiment. What is the growth opportunity? What sort of percentages in growth do you see from this gamification? Not many consumers are aware of Boost One and also not many consumers knows what uh, Boost is offering and how it benefits them. We want to give, make it a very fun uh, and interesting experience for these consumers so that it can grow really quickly. I think that the one thing that we did really well was getting the message across. So Knowledge Catalyst, they develop a platform where they can put in an e-micro-learning um, modules, which is tailor-made to our Boost printers, as well as a, an accredited e-certificate, which will then be used for their personal qualification. I was told like even you know, parents of the teammates could understand what we were trying to say, and it's the first time they're hearing about it. Uh, have you thought about how to onboard because uh, finding and searching them is one of the key elements. Have you uh, given a thought around that? The idea of becoming a boostpreneur should not be limited to who's capable of becoming a boostpreneur. It's open to anyone who's interested, right? So, which is why we do have the first level, which is the rookie level, otherwise also known as the qualifier, where you will be, you will, where you will have to achieve a certain number of merchant acquisition. I'm pretty sure that the judges like the idea because I was watching your face the whole time and like there wasn't anything like negative about it. They were like... While the judges deliberate, Tansri Ghazali Sheikh Abdul Khalid, Chairman, and Tansri Jamaluddin Ibrahim, President and Group Chief Executive Officer of Asiata Group Berhad, make a special appearance. All of you have a chance to become CEO. Spend time on being the best. And when they want that kind of skills, you are the only one who spend time building your skills to be the best. All my time focusing on being the best of doing my job. Again, let me remind you that the results were super duper close. The winner of this regional business challenge goes to the Undercovers. I feel great. I feel really great. Like I'm relieved that it's over. My team performed. We delivered the best that we we could do, and it paid out in the end. So I'm really really happy for the team. I didn't expect the graduation ceremony to be like such a big bang kind of thing, you know. The orchestra or the drummer is there, so it was way beyond what I expected it to be and it was really reflected Axiata in going above and beyond whatever they do. It was really nice and warm and because like some of family members actually came to the ceremony. It just felt like it was all worth it. It was all and especially like 
with all my teammates, we're all friends, and then we're like, oh, we're all graduating together. It was a nice feeling. It really gives me like a relief and also like sad because that's the only last time that all of us will get together. Ladies and gentlemen, announcing the most promising CEO that award goes to Joseph Yeo Jung He is recognized for his outstanding performance throughout the program, having demonstrated strong leadership abilities and critical skills. Joseph deserved it as the most promising CEO. We all know that Joseph works really hard from day one up until today. Joseph has always been like, Joseph. I think it's great that Joseph came out as the top CEO. He was really one of the key people throughout the whole Aoyuziata boot camps who really helped make all the, the whole process a lot easier for everyone else as well. Tell you the truth, like I actually learned a lot from him. I actually see him as a very good mentor as well. As I working with him in different challenges, I managed to learn so much from him. He stands convicted of what he believes in and he knows when it's right to make the shots. That's why I think Joseph is the most deserving person of this award. It comes down to really trusting the team and, and helping to build that motivation within the team. This is very difficult as well. All of us here, we are working uh, double jobs. It's so difficult to be last, sometimes that, that last man standing there, uh, coming back at night. <laughs> One thing I really learned uh, is when you make that tough decision, don't make it alone always have people that you're working with and consult them. And that's why I'm so proud of my uh, co-CEO and as well as Kiko, Nadia and Kiko. Even in this last challenge, they have been really a big source of support and, uh, and encouragement. Uh, mixed emotions. Um, we've been here in this program for two years. Um, excited, happy that we've met so many people, we've learned so many new things, but sad that the journey's over, uh, but life goes on. And, Hopefully the friendship is always staying with us. Um, probably, I think what I'll miss most is everybody. I think all the other participants that we've got to meet and the friends we got to make. That's what yeah. I'll miss most. And the friendship that we yeah. sort of meet with everyone here. Um, I will miss the friends um, truly because I'm not sure whether I'll be seeing them anymore after this. Most of the people that uh, I meet here, they are really uh, friendly and very kind people. Happy on one hand that like, you know, we have um, so many things to do and like um, we can apply it but at the same time like not so happy because we don't get to see each other again yeah, each other all these friends anymore yeah. it's actually mixed feelings but I am so grateful that I have to meet all these people, good people that I can't wait to see them again in the future maybe as CEO yeah definitely yeah. Yeah. from the bottom of my heart I really want to thank the AYTP team uh, the ASEATA team as well as all my friends in, in YCDP for making this experience such a phenomenal uh, a journey and experience. I don't think you can find this program anywhere in Malaysia and I'm so glad to have been selected as well as participated uh, throughout this two years entire journey. After two years, they are ready to graduate from their YCDP journey. When one journey ends, another begins. These future CEOs are now ready to take on new challenges and forge their path to success.